hello guys and it is another video uh this is our thursday friday saturday vlog and bad news off the bat i let the three meat birds out that we had left yesterday morning and something got them but it's not like the goose the goose just up and disappeared i found on the back wall the back end of the greenhouse the flap is pulled up on the back so I gotta bring some soil in and bury that flap again. Hopefully we can get this thing predator proof. Oh, I hate it when the predators find you the first time because after that it's so much harder to get rid of them because they know there's chickens in there and they're gonna come at it as hard as they can. So we gotta work hard on that, but I don't have any chickens loose in there so we're gonna save that for another day, sadly. I think that's how the goose got, got taken too, but I checked all the way around that greenhouse like three times and I did not see that flat pulled up so I don't know if it was just less visible than it is today or what because they had to make three trips because there were three chickens in there but anyway guys I wanted to let you know at the beginning of this video that we are on a subscriber challenge you guys have to try and get to 100 subscribers by the end of July. So tell everybody you know, and let's try and get there. So we are on the back of the greenhouse here. You can see the flap right here. It's just all up right there, complete access into the greenhouse. So what we gotta do is pull this mulch out. Uh, we'll grab the shovel and do that, lay the flap flat, and then we have some dirt here. And we'll just go along the entire back of the greenhouse. I think that's the only spot, but I'll go around and check. Like, you check these spots where it's got a big wrinkle, but that's good right there. It looks like, yeah. So, just gotta check all those spots. We have the new dirt in place, and I also was back here, so I went and threw and hoed this entire bed and finger weeded around every single plant. That one we'll probably do tomorrow, because yeah we got enough beds to where you can basically do one bed a day and then when you're done when you get through all the beds you can start over and do them again so that's probably the plan i'm gonna dump this dirt out that i didn't use and then uh go park the skid loader and i think get some lunch i'm pretty hungry uh, dad is gone uptown so he's bringing pizza back for lunch so i can keep working i think i'm going to run my jeep over to the garden so that i have all my tools and i think we'll assemble that one raised bed that's laying out there we can't fill it today because it's way too wet to go out back and get dirt but we can at least uh, actually know we fill them with compost now yeah we probably could fill it today so assemble it we can fill it uh we might plant some lettuce in it hmm. that'd be good because it's been a couple weeks since we've planted lettuce so we could use another succession so yeah my main focus for this year is my lettuce and my chickens. So hopefully I can get that down to a, down to a T. Uh, is that right? I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, I want to get the meat chickens and the lettuce mastered for this year. And then next year we can start adding more things. I, that's okay so this bed it is still one of the four by ten beds um i am out of 12 foot long lumber so i can go up to the lumber yard now they are open again because of the coronavirus they closed down for a while but they are open again so i need to bring the lawnmower over here and just cut this down as low as i can and then rip out this mulch because that's ugly mulch that was the temporary grass clipping solution i was talking about before actually what we'll do is we'll set the end of the bed right on top of those feed bags and then we'll bring in wood chips later and set that on there so that i don't the main walkway is going to be over there and there's going to be the wider walkways going this way so i don't really need this raised bed to be far away from this one so we will set it right there just to have a small area that i can walk through if i have to so I guess it's really easy to get distracted when you start mowing because I was just going to mow this little square and I was like, well, I can just mow the whole thing. So I mowed the entire thing and that took 
a little bit longer than I thought it would. So now we are going to build the bed and then after that we will fill it. Hey guys, it is Saturday, uh, just didn't vlog all day yesterday because we were busy chipping this somewhere else and me being a small YouTuber, I want to respect other people's privacy on camera because I'm not, I'm not a big enough need of footage I guess to where I need to film other places so for now since I'm a small YouTube channel, I don't feel like it's important to film other places, and it's hard to explain, but I, it's kind of difficult. But anyway, we were chipping this pile here, about oh, a couple small trees and two full-size trees like that, a uh, couple like trees that were coming out of one stump, sort of stuff like that. So chipped that whole pile, so we have some mulch to play with. I was mulching the perennials this morning with cardboard and mulch so that we don't have weeds coming up in there. Just got to do a bit kind of in that action so that we can mow easily around all of this. And then uh, we got to do some stuff in the greenhouse eventually, bring some more mulch in there once we get some meat chickens. I am getting another shed which is going to be our chick brooder so that it's very contained more insulated so that we don't have as much temperature variation because uh our nights get fairly cool like there's a 20 degree difference between our days and nights sometimes so i want to keep the temperature variation to a minimum and so that shed is hopefully going to be going right here and we're going to have we're gonna plumb some electricity to it, so it's gonna be tied in here, I think. But anyway, we're that's another day, another time. But I'm kind of figuring out what I wanna do because I don't really wanna get more meat birds until I have that ready. It's kind of a pain in the butt having the chick brooder in there. So yeah, we'll figure that out though. Uh, hopefully 25 chickens come in next time. That's what I want anyway. But at home, I just finished we were doing a lot of work at home mowing the lawn and stuff, but I planted a good amount of popcorn and sweet corn, which I'll show you guys in another video, probably when it's coming up. That way you guys can actually tell. But uh, I haven't done anything out here other than I did hoe the other lettuce bed that I said I was gonna hoe. So yeah, not a whole lot going on this Saturday, but hopefully we'll be doing some bigger projects soon in the garden. Obviously we got wood chips now, so we can do a lot of mulching around beds. And I want to do a good mulch barrier around the greenhouse and the shed. And we need to mulch, I don't think I showed you guys this, but I planted some strawberry plants back here in between these two beds. So we do need to mulch that. That is necessity right there. And yeah, so... You can see, I just hoed this. I didn't go through and finger weed around everything. I was in a hurry this morning. But both of these beds, man, they look good. I am so happy that turned out. So anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, we are in the middle of a 50 subscriber challenge. I am at 53 subscribers, and I'm trying to make it to 100 by the end of July. So help me in that challenge by spreading the word about this channel and getting the word out and th again thank you for watching you have no idea how much that means to me it's kind of uh 
Sometimes I feel like my videos are really boring, but yet they're still getting views and likes and it's very much appreciated. So see you next time. Yeah, thank you for watching.